Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make this round felt cactus. I think it turned out to be pretty gosh darn cute. And since it's the easiest of the three types that I've made, I figured I would start here and then we could work our way up to the more complicated ones. What inspired me to make these is that I really wanted some plants in my apartment, but they were dying. And I didn't like the way the plastic ones looked, so I figured I would just make my own. They are so customizable and I've been making so many varieties and different accessories, so I hope you guys enjoy making them too. You will need felt pieces in any color you would like. I like to use shades of green and green blues. Sewing floss or thread to match your color that you choose. Floss or thread in the color that you would like to use for needles. Personally, I like to use a light yellow because it adds just a little bit more color to the cactus. Sewing scissors. Sewing needles. Glue, which is optional. Stuffing. A small flower pot, which I found in my craft store in the fake flower arrangement section. This one measures two and a half inches tall and wide. And the pattern, which you can find in the description below. First, take the pattern and cut out six pieces of the felt that you chose. If you're fresh out of movie magic, scissors will work here too. If that dad joke didn't scare you off, congratulations, you made it to step two. With your six pieces cut out, we're going to start sewing on the needles. Take your thread or floss of choice and start to sew them on like so. There's no right or wrong way to sew them on, so just do whatever you feel like. I like to stagger them, but that's just me. Do whatever you want. Sew the needles on every piece until you're done. Ta-da! With your floss or thread color that matches your felt, go ahead and take two pieces and put them the wrong side together. I start off with my stitch on the inside so that the knot is hidden at the very top. Continue to sew all the way down until you get the end. The type of stitch I'm using is called an over stitch, I think, if Google's right. <laughs> I am not a sewing expert and I just kind of do what I feel is right so I don't ever really know the technicalities of my sewing but the reason why I like this stitch is because it kind of creates a raw edge which looks very similar to a cactus. Cactus have those weird little edges that kind of come out and I thought that looked really nice and I also just like the way handmade things look if you can see the stitches like that. I thought it was very cute and that's why I chose that stitch. Continue to add each piece to each side as you sew along, adding them like so and going all the way down to the end. Just keep adding each side. I believe in you. You can do it. As you add each piece, you notice that it gets a little stuffy, but it's okay. You can do it. I believe in you. Before I sew it shut, I like to make sure the very top pieces are together as tight as they can be and there's not a kind of a hole at the top where you can see inside of it. All I do is sew each opposite facing piece together and make sure that they're very tight. It kind of creates this little star shape on top. Once that's done, continue to sew all the way to the end of the last piece. Tie it up and snip it off. Once all the sides are sewn together, it'll look a little sad and deflated like this. But have no fear, we're going to stuff it and it'll look very puffy and happy soon. Go ahead and grab your stuffing and just go to town. Just stuff that little guy. Keep on stuffing him. As you're stuffing, make sure you're shaping it. The edges closest to where it's sewn together can be very hard to stuff out, so make sure that you're pushing a lot into there and making sure that the sides are actually coming out. Otherwise it can be kind of uneven and sad looking. So as you stuff, just keep on shaping it. Once you get to where you like it, it's time for the moment of truth. Take your pot, take your cactus, and stick them together. Look at that. He's all done. Look how cute he is. That's my baby. Because the round cactus is kind of a short tutorial, I thought I would throw in a bonus and put a flower in. 
I might make some flower videos later, but I figured this guy could just use a little bonus one at the end. Take a circled piece of felt and just cut a spiral into it. I like to trim the edge here and here so that it's more round. Go ahead and roll it up. Put a little glue in there and stick a pin needle in there with a the head. Sew up a few edges so that it's nice and sewn together and not loose. Trim off the thread and you're ready to go. There's your quick flower tutorial. I like the flowers because it adds just a little extra pop of color on this little guy. He's still cute with that one, but I think it helps a little bit. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our first cactus tutorial together, and I hope I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.